This is Twit. Microsoft has just rolled out on March 1st, which is last Friday, a an update which is available um, to Windows users. Now, I, I had intended to go see if it was going to give it to me automatically, but it's only for the October 2018 update 1809 of Windows 10. I'm still back on 1803 because I'm not in a hurry to to, to discover if there's anything that goes wrong when I update myself. So, but Leo, you could, cause your system was just updating itself an hour ago yeah. to 1809. So what would be interesting would be to see if you got KB 4482887. That was just made available on Friday, March 1st. Um, what it does is it allows, Oh, and maybe if it's smart, it, it, probably knows you didn't qualify because Skylake and later, wait, no, Skylake and newer. Is that earlier? Sooner? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> That's more, both the same thing. Recent, I think newer or later. More, same more thing. More recent. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Instead of earlier. Yeah. Later. Okay. More recent. <laughs> Have some uh, more coffee. The, I think you better know. <laughs> Space time warp. Let me, Alex Gumpel, if you're listening, check to see if we've got 4482887 on the 1809 uh, update. I'd be curious. Yeah. It's not a so, Skylake. I mean, it's later than Skylake. So more recent, it wouldn't, it wouldn't earlier, more recent. Newer? Yeah. Okay. Good. It wouldn't, okay. it wouldn't probably, I think it is. Actually, maybe yeah, not. Yeah, probably. It's is. a couple of years old. Leo, everything you've got is newer than that. I would hope. Anyway, so, I mean, I remember I bought that, that, uh, my, my current machine. Back when there, it was believed that Windows 7 was going to stop supporting Skylake. And it was like, what? Right. Did, what? They are going to do that? So I immediately bought a – no, I guess it was it was going to stop supporting after Skylake. Then they thought better of that because many other people with more clout than I were, up, were, <laughs> were a little annoyed by that fact. Anyway, uh, remember that Google invented something called Retpoline, which is – just difficult to say retpoline uh it's it's a contraction of return trampoline a the trampoline is like the word sounds a trampoline is something you bounce off of right so a return trampoline is a as a technique of bouncing off a of return instruction google came up with this as a lighter weight solution to the the second variant the variant 2 of specter and the the problem with it was my microsoft's re reaction or my my well intel's solution was just to shut down a a a, a speculative execution benefit which is what the variant 2 of specter was leveraging and just like throwing the switch, it's like, okay, we're turning that off. Well, it, it caused a significant performance impact. So, um, what Google realized was, you know, rather than just, there's only like some instances where this is really a problem. And if you modify your code in those particular places, then you can just kind of like make little micro patches all over but leave it on the rest of the time where it can't actually be leveraged against you. So as Microsoft explains in their update, they said Retpoline, which is, you know, so they're, they're incorporating this invention of Google. Thank you very much, Google. Retpoline works by replacing all indirect call or jumps in kernel mode binaries with an indirect branch sequence that has safe speculation behavior. They wrote, this proves to be much faster than running all of kernel mode code with branch speculation restricted. That, and, that, and this is their I, IBRS set to one, which is their, their indirect branch uh, restriction for on speculation. However, they write, this construct is only safe to use on processors where the return instruction does not speculate based on the contents of the indirect 
branch predictor. And this is where everyone's head explodes, of course, because it's like, what? <laughs> but not Google's. Google said, what? Okay, and then we'll figure out what that means. So Microsoft did, Google did, everybody, you know, said, okay. So the, the unfortunately, Intel's newer processors, thus the newness of them, do that. They speculate based on the contents of the indirect branch predictor, which means that retpoline cannot be used on them. So is that good or bad? I'm, I'm kind of lost track <laughs> I, at this I know, point. I know this is so, so the newer processors are more vulnerable. Are yeah, well, they're more they're more newer. So they're <laughs> okay. they're 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 I fancy. Go, I grant you that they're, they're fancy, and they their return instructions being fancier do speculate based on the contents right. of the indirect branch predictor. Therefore, the, we can't we have we can't rely on retpoline to work for them. Processors where we can are all AMD, which don't do that, as well as Intel processors from Broadwell and okay, let me get this right, earlier, meaning older and before and up until and including pre no pre Broadwell. Not Broadwell, just like it was. No, no, Broadwell and pre. Oh, okay. Yes. So, so, so inclusive. Yes. Broad and so that okay. means that Skylake came after Broadwell. Uh, I got it. That's right. Yeah. And, and by the way, Skylake, that Surface Studio is Skylake. So that would yes. mean it's you that you you you're not going to get this. This Sorry Rhett, Rhett Pauline patch. <laughs> Rhett Pauline. Cannot be used because on your system. <laughs> I feel like an idiot, but it, is Redpoline good. good or is Redpoline bad? Uh, Redpoline is a fix okay. for variant two of Spectre. But do I not which, need Redpoline because I have a Skylake oh, processor? I wish you could have it, but oh, you can't. So, in other words, it's bad to have the newer processor because the Redpoline yes. fix doesn't work. Yes, although it's kind of good to have it be newer because. <laughs> It's not slowed down as much by variant two of Spectre. Ah, yes, because the red red balloon has side effects, bad negative side effects. Basically, we thought we were gonna get finally stop talking about this. At, at, like we were gonna limit this to 2018, but no, here it is in 2019 still, and it's just as mind bending, boggling, yeah, as ever. Yeah. So, so here here's the takeaway. If any of our listeners have, <laughs> if their ears are not bleeding, uh, if you happen to have Windows 10 with the 1809 October 2018 update, and they're not going to ever do this, they're, they've said, sorry, we're not going to go back in time any further because <laughs> we're all exhausted. Um, if so, if you have October 2018, Update 1809 of Windows 10 yeah. and a Broadwell or older chip, yeah. which got slowed down by the 2018 panic yeah. over Spectre. And remember, we're, we're like, no one ever actually used this to attack anybody <laughs> and in the first place. But they right? could. And well, yeah, but on a, on an end user's machine, you know, if you've got something in your machine attacking itself, then you've already got problems. So red Pauline and, and I mean, willy nilly, who cares? So, so the only problem was in cloud environments where you might have a, a, a deliberately shared hosting environment where malicious code was running in one VM and this was being used to try to leak secrets out of an adjoining VM, which is not anything that, you know, your typical end user has anyway. But, um, what this, what essentially what will happen is if you do, if you are that person, Broadwell or older chip, where you would have seen things slow down if you didn't for example, use my inspector utility to turn this nonsense off because it's just not a problem in the first place. 
in time, Microsoft is going to roll out for those people a performance improvement, which yeah. you could apply today yeah. on March on March 5th. If you follow some registry changes in the link to the update that I have in the show notes. Oh. And, <laughs> and, and because that has probably has winnowed down our entire applicable audience to five, um, <laughs> I'm not going to go through that now. <laughs> I'm just going to say that's there. Is it in, in Inspector? Did you put all this in Inspector? Yeah, Inspector has always had this. It knows all so, about it. Okay. Yeah, you could turn this stuff off, and then your machine runs fast and fine. And there's again, we've always said we will certainly let everyone know if they should ever actually need to turn these mitigations on. As far as anyone knows, this has never actually been used. To I mean, this is like this is the probably the biggest example of the sky is falling security. Yeah concern without any basis right. for believing that an individual needs to do anything. But boy, was it a great, a great source of material for 2018. Oh, man. Yeah. So, um, so today Microsoft updated their posting saying, while the phased rollout is in progress, that is the, the they're, they're going to tippy toe this out this retpoline deployment sort of cautiously, they said, while the phased rollout is in progress, customers who would like to manually enable retpoline on their machines, those with Windows 10, October 2018, 1809, with a Broadwell or older chip can do so they wrote with the following registry configuration updates. And again, link in the show notes for the five of you uh, out of the who knows how many listeners we have who are, you know, still at this point like, oh, yeah, that's me. 